CTNN has obtained that surveillance video from the gas station, which is less than a mile and a half from baby Lisa's home. And in that video, it shows an unidentified man walking down the street at 2.15 in the morning of October 4th, the morning baby Lisa, Lisa disappeared from her home. Now, authorities, specifically the FBI and the police department, are not commenting specifically on that videotape, but they do tell CNN that authorities are looking at all surveillance video from the surrounding area. Now, this is pure speculation at this point, but this video could possibly match witness testimony saying people saw a man walking in the dark carrying a baby in a diaper that morning she disappeared. And the gas station owner we spoke to say says that it is very unusual to see somebody walking down the street at that hour. Now, also new today, Deb, we can tell you that a lawyer for the parents is speaking out in reaction to authorities investigating inside baby Lisa's home on Wednesday and they say that that search was necessary because of a cadaver hit on the scent of a dead body. But here is the lawyer's reaction. There is thankfully no destruction. There are no walls torn out. Um, so whatever x-raying they did did not confirm whatever it was that, that some dog thought it sniffed. The police have a very difficult job and they have to start at the center of uh, the world that this little girl lived in. Now, just a couple of hours ago, Deb, an emotional Deborah Bradley and uh, Jeremy, uh, Jeremy Irwin actually came back to this home. They're right now staying with relatives a short drive from here, but they came back to the home for a special candlelight prayer vigil held in front of their home where family members, friends, and neighbors in the surrounding area came out, and they all say they remain optimistic that baby Lisa will return.